I can tell y'all. I would have though. Yeah, but I can still tell. You know, you know, no brothers. You can still tell. The singing is in. Yeah. All right, we we on this. Oh, you bet it. Run the boys for last week. For last week, I was definitely in. We on. We got. Yeah. All right, shout out to Israel. We got to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakak Kadash. Shout out to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and shout out to the out there, those who are the faith and live alone in the city. I see brothers Jim and soldiers faith in New Jersey. Uh, you know, here with the weekly sit down, and today's topic we're going to get into is the bigger picture. All right, so, you know, we get into So, uh, you want to start off with the video, or brother got a scripture to start off with? Mm -hmm. Start with the video. Yeah, just gonna play a quick uh, video. What's that on the screen, huh? Oh, shit. Where's that mean? I need to go to All right, there you go. We're live. Yeah, we back. Good? Yeah. Right. Yeah, we're gonna get into a, a quick clip of edification. Um, you know, we're just gonna let it play in the background. Um, if brothers wanna check it out, uh, this lady, uh, the queen of crypto, she's on YouTube. And she's always getting into like the digital currencies and things like this. And obviously this is important for us to know because we know what the ultimate bigger picture is, is Esau trying to rule the world by the market of beast, the RFID chip. And a lot of these monetary things, what you're saying now, and you know, and the jab and all this other stuff is leading all up into that point. So this is why we get into these clips of edification and to be able to break it down. All right. Hey, because they say, if you want to, really uh, uh get to the foundation of something they say uh, follow the money you know what i mean like say paper trail yeah. you want to know something you want to get to the essence of something follow the money follow the paper trail so this is what we're doing follow esau's paper trail to his digital footprint all right mm -hmm. so let's share this information first of all uh for some people who may are still you know straddling the fence about cryptocurrency uh, this new economy, right, in digital dollars. So I'm going to share this article uh, that was released actually on yesterday that the digital dollar, right, the digital dollar is now high priority for the Fed, for the federal government, that is, right? I've been telling you all for some months now that we are moving to a digital economy, right? Meaning that in maybe by 2023, you're, you're going to have to explain to your kids how we used to use paper currency uh, to for goods and services, and it was once called cash, right? Uh, we're moving to a digital. Uh, this might go to uh, Daniel's uh, 12 and 4 real quick. Mm. Yeah, I was getting into this, and I got a dude up in Esau, messed up my lesson, and all of a sudden, you couldn't hear a sound on it, man. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, this is uh, Daniel chapter 12, verse Four, but thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. Exactly. So, just like what knowledge shall be increased, you got to think about the times that have passed. So, what she said right there that remind me of the times that have passed, because what you know, depending on which age you are, you grow up in a different era. You know, and I remember specifically to certain of our buzz areas. You know, you grew up with a, a, a tape and you put it in the tape deck. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then they graduated what to CDs. Mm -hmm. Then they graduated to MP3s. Then they graduated to iPods and, and all of that. You know what I'm saying? And now it's straight music streaming off of your phone. And but before the tape deck, it was the uh, oh the uh, the the the, the, the record. big the record. You had the the eight track and you had the records. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And that that goes back to we not, I'm not in that generation. I ain't that yeah, old. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, but yeah, but time. anybody else before us, that was those generations. So what she's getting into is like, possibly in 2023, you might have to be explaining to your kids, well, at this point in time, we used to use this uh, uh, currency in America that was called cash. And she's holding up the dollar within there. So that shows you how what knowledge shall be increased because what everything is being increased. Everything is being enhanced and times are changing 
faster than ever, according to the Lord's timeline of the prophecies, man. Yes, you know, like just how you might go to a certain town, like here we in the city of North. I remember we on South Orange Avenue had this big plant with the Heinz ketchup, by the way, used to make the ketchup at and different mm -hmm. things like that. But you see over time how a city changes, and developments, uh, 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 gentrification, so on and so forth. So this is all of what this is getting into because we headed into that big shift right now, man. Everything that we're experimenting with now, what Esau is experimenting with now, is just a big shift in the culture and getting you acclimated to this new system that he's implementing. Did you did you make mention how the uh, remember the not the cassette tapes but the uh -huh. VCR tapes? Oh yeah, CDs, VCR tapes, all of that. DVD, 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 DVD. Hey, hey, Silo, hey, I was a little mechanic with that. They, 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 pop. I, I find the right piece. And I tape it together nice and I put it together nice and finally. I tape it together, yeah. still put it in there. Yeah. It skipped on that part, but it is still playing. Right, right, like, right. you know what I'm saying? You don't right. got to do things like that no more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, it, and it makes sense now because even with a lot of uh, movies that are coming out, here it is, they, they, they're putting it on HBO Max, you know, uh -huh. but they also putting it in the movie theaters. But uh -huh. it's, it, it's going to show you how the movie theaters is being pushed out of the way. Mm -hmm. And a lot of these movies that are coming out are going straight digital. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hulu, Netflix, yeah. HBO Max, you know, all of these yeah. uh, certain platforms. So it's out with the old and with the new. Mm -hmm. Black bus, uh, Blockbuster was, was, a, was a thing <laughs> once upon a yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but took out by Netflix. Don't, took out by Netflix. Uh, don't know? forget to rewind the tape. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't forget to rewind the tape. That's right. <laughs> It, it, but that goes to show the, the ways of the world is moving towards a, pl a, a place of conveniency. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, it, it, it's all about conveniency, yep. you know. And um, one thing about conveniency, you know, it uh, promotes uh, sluggish, you know, be, being a slugger, being lazy. And um, that's what these elites want. The elites want you to be stagnant, you know, because this is a capitalist society. You know, so once an individual is uh, lazy, you know, you're able to capitalize on that laziness. For example, uh, Uber, you know what I'm saying? Or Uber Eats. Yeah. You know, a lot of people don't even want to drive out to get their own food. So how do you capitalize a lazy person that don't want to get their own food? Well, we have a service for you, Uber Eats. You feel what I'm saying? So it, it's all about a thing, conveniency. And now, you know, alluding to the mark of the beast, which is the microchip, you know, that's going to be a thing of uh, conveniency because you don't worry. You don't have to worry about leaving your ID at home. You don't have to worry about leaving your wallet at home because why? It's going to be implanted in your skin mm. or in your or in your forehead. You know, so these Edomites know that. You know, however, Jake don't comprehend it. So what? Edom is able to capitalize on two thirds of Jake. You know, when it comes to convenience and complacency. Yeah, just to add on to Shar, the brother Shar. Uh, power and control, power conveniency, control. power and control. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, play the video. Yeah. Most likely, because with more conveniency comes more power for uh, for uh, e. Mm -hmm. Like uh, even with these uh, Amazon devices, if you step up to the Amazon Cube thing from the Amazon Fire Stick for more conveniency of more space, smoother running, then you have to give more. Mm. Privacy over to Esau, the so-called white man. Yeah. See, so now he's listening into you because it's a fact that he listens into these Alexa devices. Yeah. So you can allow Esau to listen into you and and have free streaming without interruption, or you can continue to have skipping. You know what I'm saying? Through yeah. the old one. Right. Commercials. <laughs> yeah. Or or even like yeah 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 um what do you call it like the Apple Pay? You know here it is. To to they got certain sites now to where you could just pay by way of Apple Pay because you, 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 your debit information is already linked to your phone. Exactly. So now you can um, alleviate the uh, process of putting down your card number, putting down the expiration date, putting down the CCV code. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's already linked to your phone. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like the average person, I don't feel like doing all of that. Mm -hmm. It's already linked to my Apple Pay. So let me just pay through Apple Pay. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. It, it's, it's what you call gradualism, mm -hmm. You're being conditioned. Yeah. You know, yeah, real quick, Second Thessalonians 2 and 4. Who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Because mm -hmm. we know that he wants to take the, the role of the Heavenly Father. He wants to he wants to all that power and control over every creature on the earth. 
you know, starting with us, you know, Israelites. Because why? We are the true children of the Lord. Serve, you know, service of the Lord. Oh, oh, um, oh I got one. Mm -hmm. um, Second Ezra chapter 16, verse 68. Uh, For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you, and they shall take away certain of you and feed you being idle mm -hmm. with things offered unto idols. Mm -hmm. Now, real quick, looking at that word idle, um, one of them means to be slothful, given to rest and ease, mm -hmm. going through the conveniency of modern day technology. Mm -hmm. Uh, Averse to labor or employment, lazy as an idle man, uh, affording leisure, vacant, not occupied, um, uh, uh, remaining uh, unused. Oh, useless, vain, ineffectual, okay, unfruitful and barren, mm. you know? Hey, that's that's the slogan because um, there's a commercial that's, uh, that's out there where he is telling you, look, don't worry about owning stuff. You won't have to own anything, but you will have more convenience. Mm -hmm. You know, in that commercial, that vibration is put in that. And I forgot the exact words that that man said in that commercial. You know, that basically he said, look, you won't own anything, but you'll be happy. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, and when they came with that, um, the, uh, you know, the, the, the uh, coholio sickness, <laughs> you know, they basically sat everybody down and made you dependent on what? The, the mind control, the government. Yeah. You know? One more verse. And they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and in reproach and trodden underfoot. Mm. Mm -hmm. so, and that's essentially what that microchip. Yep. So mm -hmm. that microchip is only going to be beneficial to those who are sluggish, lazy, slothful, mm -hmm. and constantly seeking for convenience. Yep. You know? And one thing about this truth, this truth uh, breeds you not to be lazy. You know, like, like, what's that, Proverbs 6 and 6? Mm -hmm. Go thou sluggard, consider thou ant. Mm -hmm. You know, once, you, once you're involved in this truth, you know, it promotes you to, you, you to be busy, you know, because you're constantly looking into things. You know, the brain is constantly at, constantly at work, you know. You know what's uh, beneficial unto you, you know what's detrimental unto you, you know. So that's why we're, we're completely adverse to the agenda of these elites, man, and they know it. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's why they going to attempt to take us out of the way, you know, in, with, in order to fulfill their new world order, you know, but we, we, we're pretty much the disruptors, you know, we, 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 we're, we're the doomsday prophets, you know, we're here to promote bad news unto you, however good news unto us. Mm -hmm. And here it is, the Heavenly Father told us to tell you that he's going to interrupt you while you're eating, mm -hmm. you know. You're not going to be able to fulfill your new world order. Yep. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. one last thing is like, like the more, the more uh, convenient things get, all right, the more privacy you lose, man. Because now with this digital money, guess what? They're tracking every single thing you're buying. Bro's getting to that in the can. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the brother Taz of War with uh, uh, the new, how they want to work the credit. Mm -hmm. Now if they see you buying certain things, they're going to adjust your credit accordingly. That's fucked up, man. You know, so now with the more privacy you're giving over, they've seen everything you buying, you know, through their convenience, the more you messing yourself up. Like, and you even look at the phones, you can put your fucking thumbprint on the side of the phone, man, yeah. to unlock it, to pay for things. Facial Where the fuck did that come from, man? Mm -hmm. Are you fucking shitting me, man? Excuse my French. Are you shitting me, bro? That came from, from left field out of nowhere. All of a sudden, you're using your thumb to open up shit, man. Your face. And, 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 then, and then you forget how to, and then you forget what your password is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 your eye, call it Irish candy. Yeah. Your eye and shit. Hey, and not only that, you know, when I was coming up, you would have to remember phone numbers. Mm. <laughs> you, you ain't remember no phone numbers. Mm. I've known brothers for about eight years now. I still don't know their number. Yeah. Exactly. You lose your phone. That's it. I just go to, I just go to their contact. Right, right, right. Call yeah. the brother. Damn. You know what I'm saying? So, so, so that, that's what Edom, you know, that, that, that's what he, he he wants to hmm. keep you from uh he wants to keep you from using your mind mm -hmm. yeah. you know he wants to keep you from using your mind and that's why you know a lot of times you have to find your way mm -hmm. you know when you're driving you know it is you may have a map a road map you know you may ask for directions on the way and then and then you might have to go based upon memory but 
what did he what, what did he provide, you know, to eliminate you from using your mind even on the road? Mm-hmm. And the majority of us is guilty of it. GPS, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know? Ways. Hey, before <laughs> before GPS was on the phones, I remember you used to have to print. You used to have to print out. Print out your yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 papers in your hand. Right yeah. 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 yeah, it's a highlight to me. Yeah. Yeah. I couldn't yeah. drop no damn way. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yeah, since um, we're going to get back to the video, but, but since the brother mentioned how uh, Esau don't want you to use your mind, and this is completely true, all right? And um, this is an article, right, from the New York Times and uh, by Charlie Warzel. Uh, Mr. Warzel is an opinion writer at large. And it says, the title of it, it says, don't go down the rabbit hole. Critical thinking as we're taught to do it isn't helping in the fight against misinformation. Mm. So what do they tell you? <laughs> they don't want you to think critically. Right. Isn't that what you're supposed to do? Exactly. Mm. There's a section in that in your reading class. Right? <laughs> yeah. critical, critical. Exactly. That, that's that's what that's what uh, uh, language arts and reading right. is all about. Oh, yeah. Your comprehension. It's about your critical thinking yeah. and your analysis. And when they ask you to write a book report or something like that, they're giving your critical thoughts about this particular right. subject. Right. right. Right? <laughs> uh, it says, yeah, for an academic, I'm not going to read this, kind of long, I'm not going to read this whole thing, but it says, for an academic, Michael Caulfield has an our request, stop overthinking what you see online. Mr. Caulfield, a digital literacy, and we're talking about digital currency, things in the digital world, a digital literacy expert at Washington State University, Vancouver, knows all too well that at this very moment, more people are fighting for the opportunity to lie to you than at perhaps any other point in human history. So they're basically trying to paint the image like, if you get into too much stuff online, people just looking a lot of you. Right. You shouldn't fall into this type of trap. Right. You know what I'm saying? When you're the devil that's lying to us and been lying to us, man. Yeah. Right? Um, misinformation rise the greased algorithmic rails of powerful social media platforms and travels at velocities and in volumes that makes it nearly impossible to stop. So what they, they really want to stop the truth from coming out. That's what it's all about. They're like, yo, stuff is coming out from everywhere. It's nearly impossible to stop. Mm-hmm. How can we stop them from damaging our society? How can we stop them from leaking our information? Or disrupting their plans. Is that, hey, the Lord mm-hmm. said, hey, uh, 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 that tongues shall fall upon mm-hmm. themselves. It's not just about us. I mean, it is about us first and foremost, but what? The Lord uses the whistleblowers, the people of your own society, mm. to bring out the information in which we're using to validate the scriptures, man. To bring more truth out. That's what it's all about. So when they talk about misinformation, don't go down the rabbit hole. You shouldn't critical think. That's all bullshit, man. When you're conformed to the society, you're nothing more than a zombie for the society, man. You're a robot for Esau. You're going to be a robot some way, shape, form, or fashion. It behooves you to be a robot for the Lord. Yeah, I'll watch me out shot. The creator of all things, man. You know? A quick precept. Mm -hmm. Matthews 12 and 26. And if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. Mm -hmm. How shall then his kingdom stand? (laughs) And if I be of Beelzebub, cast out devils, by whom do your children cast them out? Therefore they shall be your judge, your judges. Exactly. So just going into that information and your kingdom is truly divided, you know, amongst what? Not amongst the elites, because we know secretly the elites, so they're all on one accord. They all have the common agenda. But amongst the lower levels, your kingdom is divided. Now, at the end of the day, Esau don't give a damn about it. They're like, yeah, we can just extend, we can just do whatever. They're just going to roll with it. Mm-hmm. But the main problem is you got you know, the Edomites down in the Southern Barbie Belt, they're not going for a lot of bullshit. You got all of the people in the alternative media, they're not going for all of the bullshit. But then, you know, that Esau, he knows that he has the sheep. So it's like, hey, we trying to get this all on one thing. Everybody should be thinking this one way according to our one world order that we're trying to set. Why are these motherfuckers getting into these other different things? Stop believing this. Okay, uh, uh, uh. Ban these words on the algorithm. Ban these words. 
shadow ban this person on social media, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, all these different things. Why? To stop the information that is literally destroying their kingdom. The scriptures say, uh, matter of fact, something like that. What's the second Corinthians for that? Two and three, two, three and four, ten, three and four, something like that. Hey, why, why brother, get it. I just squeeze this in there real quick. I meant to read it. Matthew 12 and 25. And Yahweh knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, mm -hmm. and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. Exactly. You got it? This is 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 3. It says, For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. Mm -hmm. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the Most High to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations, and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of the Most High, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of the uh, of the Messiah. And, and, that, and, and that's what it's doing. It's bringing down your society. Every piece of truthful information that is coming out, it's bringing down your society. And this is what you attempt to stop because why? It's at, at the same time, like you want to see so. One person's going down, one person's going up. So as your society's coming down, the kingdom of the most high is going up. So that's what this information is doing, and this is what you're trying to stop, but you can't stop it. We on a money train, baby, the real money train. You know what I'm saying? The spiritual money train, man. You know, and, and you can't stop it. It's, there's nothing you can do to stop it. This train ain't derailing, it ain't going off the road. It's nothing you can do to stop it, man. Exactly. Look. I got a, a precept for you. Um, this is uh, Acts chapter 5, verse 39, right to the point. But if it be of the Most High, ye cannot overthrow it, mm -hmm. lest happily ye be found even to fight against the Most High. Mm -hmm. and, and that's what Esau is doing. He's fighting against the Most High because he ultimately want to stop the truth. Mm -hmm. That means he want to stop the prophets from speaking the word of the Most High, the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So, you're going to find yourself fighting against the Most High. Yep. Yep. Uh, one more. Proverbs 21 and 16. You mentioned zombies earlier. It says, The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the day. Mm -hmm. Hey, you wander out of the way of critical thinking according to the Spirit of the Lord. <laughs> You're in the congregation of the day. Yep. Hey, hey, and, and, and the title of the lesson is the bigger picture. You can have mm -hmm. us all lined up. Hey. Take a picture, motherfucker, in the last month. Yeah, yeah, you probably yeah, see yeah. a you probably yeah. see an image of an angel angels yeah, right behind yeah, us. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? In the cut. You know what I'm saying? Like the angel took out in the cut right behind us. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Psalm 34 and 7. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, come cool, on, man. <laughs> uh yeah, brother hey, video. Scripture. you can go back to the video. Yeah. Currently for a lot of reasons, but this article is just really justified that that the U united states is starting to get serious about a central bank digital currency uh, with the comments coming from top officials laying out the strongest support yet so then you have the federal reserve right um chair jerome powell told congress that developing a digital dollar is quote unquote high priority project for us, right? Mm. But he added that there will be significant technical and policy changes. However, it is a high priority. So that's the big picture. Now, why does this matter? Why does this matter? More people, right? More consumers and financial institutions are already transitioning to digital payments, right? You have PayPal, you have Cash App, you have Grayscale, you have all of these uh, financial institution, you have Tesla that are transitioning into digital payments. Um, and that put even greater pressure on policy policymakers. You also have China that already has a digital one and then have more gold reserve. If you've been following me for any amount of time, you know that I teach you all that gold and silver is money. It is money, it's real money and it is constitution money right article one section 10 of the constitution states that the only repayments or the elimination of debt can only come in the form of real money which is gold and silver so china 
has accumulated, right, more gold and its reserve than the United States. So right now with this mean, China is the financial powerhouse of all countries. So this also puts additional said, pressure, right, on... That's why, uh, that's why these little uh, Moabites, so-called Chinese, think that, that they hot shots, man. Yeah. That's why they think that they next to rule. Mm. But they in the ultimate trick bag, man. Mm. Because uh, that's like wisdom of Psalm in the fifth chapter, man. At the strangers of our salvation, little they know that you so-called Negroes, like Latinos and Natives, we're actually the ones that's going to be next to rule, man. Through what? Through divine intervention, man. Mm -hmm. When Yahweh Shai, who the world inwardly called Jesus Christ, when he returns and redeems us, that's why we got something called the new Passover, man. That's gonna, And that's how you know the, the freaking Jays, man. They're not the true uh, people of the Bible, man. Because we're not supposed to be talking about the old Passover no more. We're supposed to be talking about the new Passover. Okay? But we're not mm -hmm. talking about the new Passover. We're still talking about the one of Egypt. But there's going to come a Passover that's going to be so great and amazing and beautiful is going to outdo the old Passover, man. Mm -hmm. And do that same Passover is when we're going to come back into a uh, rulership, man. So that's why these damn Moabites think that, that, that they got next to rule. Mm -hmm. But the scripture said that uh, Esau is the end of the world gotcha. and Jacob right. is the beginning. Yeah, yeah. this is 2nd Edges 6 and 5. And eerie, the present years were sought out. And or ever the inventions of them that now sin were turned. Before they were sealed, that were gathered faith for a treasure. Then did I consider these things, and they were all made through me alone, and through none other. By me also they shall be ended, and none other. Then answered I, and said, What shall be the parting asunder of the times? Or when shall the end of the first, and the beginning of it that followeth? And he said unto me, From Abraham, Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau, for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. It didn't say Moab. <laughs> Hell yeah. no. So they they in for a trick bag, you know. They in for that. That's why the uh, strangeness of our salvation is so far beyond that they look for, you know, because nobody's looking for Jake to be delivered out of this uh, hellhole we in out of the condition we in, you know, being at the bottom, Jake living in the projects, you know, what they call the urban communities, all right, in the hoods, the dirty blocks, the dirty neighborhoods, run down apartments, run down buildings they living in, man, drugs, rap music. Mm -hmm. They don't think that we as the Lord's people will come out of this. And they so far beyond us that they sit in high place where it's impossible for us to get to a level that they on. They made all of these avenues to where it's impossible. It's impossible for Jake to get up on one. Man, it's impossible for Jake to be a competitor. You can't dare to become even a competitor. You're not in the race. You sit your monkey ass down somewhere. Hey, that's how Esau is saying it, man. You, look, you nigga... You not in the race. You go sit your ass down. Sit your father all that down for a minute train. Yeah, you would never be a part of this game. This one game you won't play. Yeah. You know? right, so this, is, this, is, this is James chapter 5. I'm going to start at verse 1. Go to now, you rich men. Weep and howl, for your misery shall come upon you. Your riches are corrupted, and your garments are moth-eaten. Mm. Your gold and silver is cankered. And the rust of them shall be a witness against you, mm -hmm. and shall eat your flesh as it were fire. Yet heap treasure together for the last days. Mm. Hey, Esau right now is reaping treasure. Because why? They're looking to take the gold, all the gold they have, you know, make sure they store it up. They're taking it from this location. They're taking it from that location. You know, they got their workers working, their employees, their slaves transferring doing everything man but everything that they're gathering out of their little um treasured places is all for what it's all for the lord's elect yeah, yeah. you know i got real quick i got a definition of canker uh quick google it says a destructive fungal disease of apple and other trees that results in damage to the bark an mm -hmm. open lesion and plant tissue caused by infection or injury Fungal rot in some fruits and vegetables 
etc. Par uh, et parsnips and tomatoes. An ulcerous condition or disease of a human or animal. So that just pretty much here it is the, the finances of a particular system or government uh showcases um its strength, mm -hmm. so to speak. Now here it is, the Lord is taken away from your uh from your financial system. So if the Lord is taken away from your financial system, pretty much talking about your gold and silver is cankered, which is actual real money, you know. What's that tell you about your rulership? What's that tell you about your government? The Lord is taking that away as well. You know, like the brother just read, Esau, which is the so-called white man today, he's the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. Mm -hmm. You know? Hey, the Lord is injuring. How you read those definitions? Injury. Yeah. yeah. Oh, is, you still got it? Oh, uh, yeah. It says, um, canker. Canker, right? Yeah. Canker is a destructive fungal disease of of apple and other trees that result in damage to the bark. So, so, so the Lord bringing a plague upon these devils. He's yeah. bringing a plague upon their system, yeah. their money system. Yeah. They're plaguing themselves yeah. by 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 merging into this transhuman society. Mm -hmm. You know where you become. You know your body can transfer money. You know we already strayed away from real money. Now they want to make sure they want to have it to where our bodies. Are able to to transfer information and well transfer money you know from body to body yeah. you know yeah. a little bit more it says behold the hire of the laborers who have reaped down your fields which is of you kept back by fraud <laughs> you know what I'm saying going back to what brothers were saying we ain't even got a fighting chance against these devils why because you kept us back by fraud you know it is you 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 placed uh you know uh credit you know upon us because credit you know that that, that ain't money you know credit is not backed by anything it's really because of credit that esau is in the debt that they're pretty much in at this present moment you know it is when it came to um you know uh opportunity you didn't let jake know about it pretty much mm -hmm. you know it is you 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 kept us back by pretty much not even allowing us to know our true identity they, they, Our they, heritage. They wouldn't let us out of slavery. Yeah. Because they know that us being slaves was is uh bringing them great fortune. Absolutely. It was supposed to be a time they're supposed to let us go. Absolutely. You know the scriptures say they would never uh what's how they go? They refused to let us go. They refused to let us go. Yeah. Hey, and not only that, there was um some some information that came out. There was this this, this Israelite couple, so called Negro couple, and here it is, they had some friends that were Edomites. And it came, it came to a point to where they were going to get their house appraised, and they already knew the system, because when it comes to so-called Negroes getting their house appraised, you know, it, they, the, the the Edomites who are in the position here it is, you're not going to, you're really not, you're barely going to see a Israelite appraisal, for, uh, appraiser uh, first and foremost. Um, however, they were hit to the game as far as. You know, when, when Israelite couples or so-called Negroes or Latino couples or homeowner uh, gets their property appraised, they don't, the, the appraiser never appraises it at the value that it should be. Mm. You know, so there was a particular couple that used their uh, Edomite friend, so-called white friend, uh, to pose as the homeowner. And they pretty much allowed that, their particular home to appraise to a 500 k mm. You know what I'm saying? By, by using the Edomite as the face of that particular homeowner, yeah. you know, so so that goes to show, uh, right here, right, the, the, the scripture, scripture's coming to life. It says, "Behold, the hire of the laborers who have reaped down your fields, which is of you kept back by fraud, cry." Mm -hmm. You know, so so what we're, we're doing these lessons to what cry out. You know what I'm saying? However, you kept us back by fraud as far as advancing in this society, but that's why the Lord said, um, what would the Lord say, uh? For we have um, no continuing city. city, city yeah, city, yeah, man. we have no continuing city, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This is not our rest. Mm. This society is not for us. Mm. It's for Edom. And Edom's going to do whatever he can to uh, pretty much keep us from uh, advancing this society. Mm. Another case in point. Mm. Once Edom starts seeing Jake, you know, mm. level up to a, a, a certain extent, mm. what he started to do? He started putting legislations. Yeah. out there because there's a concept you know in the real estate field called wholesaling you know what i'm saying so even with the concept of wholesaling now in certain cities 
primarily Philadelphia, you know, they, they got it to where there's legislations now to where it's not as easy to um, get certain deals um, and certain transactions uh, to prosper because of those particular legislations. Out there in, uh, uh, out there in Illinois, uh, now you need licenses. Mm. <laughs> now you need licenses or like, a, um, what do you call it? Um, uh, what do you call them people? Like a realtor license mm. in order to uh, fulfill the concept of wholesaling. Mm. But once uh, prior to uh, prior to Edom actually seeing Jake Prosper in that particular field, you didn't need a license. You know what I'm saying? So this devil does whatever he can to keep Jake from what you call what you call winning in this society, man. He's a hater. He's a whole hater. <laughs> He's one of the biggest haters, man. Whole hater, man. And he calls him the Lord called him, well the scriptures say he accused of thou brother. Yeah. That's a hater. Yeah. yeah. No? He has the power to move the goalpost to the other to the other end of the field. <laughs> yeah. You you running, you about to score a touchdown. He saw him move the goalpost to the other side. So you got to run first. You got to go. Yeah. You got to go yeah. back the other way. Yeah. Throw throw a flag. Yeah. Yeah. Foul. Bullshit flag. Man, that's shit. That's the yeah. reason why the the damn woman is the so called white man's pit bull because they go for that shit too. Move yeah. the goalpost. Yeah. Word, yeah. but um, uh, that a little bit more. It says, and the cries of them which have reaped are entered into the ears of the Lord of Sabaoth. Mm. You have lived in pleasure on the, you have lived in pleasure on the earth and been wanton. You know, because you go to every other country's, uh, you mm. you invade every other country's and uh, rape them of their natural resources, man. Mm -hmm. You have wanton, you, you, you're undisciplined. You're undisciplined yeah. you, you know, you're removing the old landmarks in which the Lord told you not to do. Hmm. It says, "Ye have nourished your hearts as in the day of slaughter." Yeah, and the conquistadors was a prime example of that when it came down to the North American Indians. Hmm. It says, "Ye have condemned and killed the just, and he doth not resist you." Be patient, therefore, brethren, unto the coming of the Lord. Behold, the husbandman waited for the precious fruit of the earth, and had long patience for it until he received the early and latter rain. Be ye also patient, establish your hearts, for the coming of the Lord draws done. Mm -hmm. uh, got some two right quick. Uh, Habakkuk 2 and 6. Shall not all these take up a parable against him, and a taunting proverb against him, and say, Woe to him that increaseth that which is not his? How long? And to him that leaneth himself with thick clay. All right, and the so called white man, he, he increases. A lot of that gold he got. Well, matter of fact, I looked up um, because they ain't called the 49ers for no reason. You know, that goes back to uh, 1849 when the so called white man greedy fucking ass ran his ran his ass over to the California, what you call the gold rush. Mm -hmm. So it says uh miners, the more yeah the miners. It says they extracted more than 750 thousand pounds of gold. During the California gold rush. Okay. So here it is. They added to themselves 750,000 pounds of gold. That wasn't even his. You know. And then it says that. Uh, um, right here. Right. It says. The news. This is all Wikipedia. The news of gold brought approximately 300,000 people to California. From the rest of the United States and abroad. Right. When we get to the uh, point here, it says the gold rush had severe effects on native Californians, talking about Gadites, and accelerated the Native Americans population's decline from disease, starvation, and the California genocide. Mm. So you a bloody dude. You a bloody dude, man. You had this uh, one Edomite, his name was James W. Marshall, who he found gold in California and when he spread news of everybody. A bunch of greedy ass Edomites went in California. You know, it didn't go into detail of what they did to the Gadites. Well, uh -huh. well I was going to say, yeah, you know, Esau is a greedy bastard. Um, I remember I was watching, um, I forgot what I was watching, but basically they was bringing out how, I think it was your man's. Um, uh, yeah, it was your man's. Uh, what's his name? Uh, the begin Damn. I forgot the name. I, the dude that bring out the history, he bringing out the laws to... Uh, Oh, Dr. Claude Anderson. Dr. Claude Anderson. He was saying that all of these Edomites, when um they made a bill for Gad, that they will receive certain benefits, some type of money. And then since Edomites heard about it,
they started disguising as if or saying that they had um oh, in, yeah. Indian blood. Five dollar Indians. Yeah, and they started to get paid too. Here it is, they the same ones and their forefathers that destroyed them. And so you go impot impersonate as if you wanted them just to receive some money. You know, Esau is a fucking greedy, greasy you know. bastard, man. Right. So you know? Yeah, so I, uh, yeah. You're going to have to, hey, right. hey, do the spirit and power, y'all, by Shemel Shai. All that stuff is marked. E's going to be paid right. back for everything that they've done. You yeah. know, and that and that's just the, the happy truth. That ain't the sad truth. That's the happy truth. You know, you read Obadiah, uh, it talks about how the Lord is going to round Esau up and burn them up, man. Yeah. At the end of you know their period of serving, that thousand year period of uh, of slavery, man, and that's scripture. All right, that's scripture. Yeah. So it says, uh, uh, the gold rush had severe effects on Native Californians and accelerated the Native American population decline from disease, starvation, and the California genocide. So when they when he got wind of that, that gold was over there. They begin to straight kill the Native Americans over there. They 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 gave them diseases on purpose and they starve them out so that they can extract what seven hundred and fifty thousand pounds of gold that's still in their in the Federal Reserve today. You know, so just to uh, bring it back home to the scripture, man. Habakkuk two and six, shall not all these take up a parable against him and a taunting proverb against him, which is what we're doing now. Says, and say, woe to him that increases that which is not his. Mm -hmm. And you still out, and you think that's your stop? You still caught right handed to this day over in these different countries extracting their oil when you got oil here. So you just a devil, man, and you all over the place, man. Hey, and not only with that, here it is, these devils, you know, with the whole 9 11 situation, you know, that was a problem, a problem reaction scenario that happened. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, part of the reason of these devils, you know, pretty much blowing up the towers, blaming on Afghanistan, was to invade Afghanistan to uh, rob them of the lithium, you know, the natural resource in which you use for TVs, laptops, remotes, batteries, so on and so forth. You know, that's what the natural resource is um, uh, good for. And um, that was part of the reason of you invaded, you know, that particular, um, uh, country, you know, it is you was willing to sacrifice all of these lives for your particular gain, you know, and you can only imagine how many TVs and were manufactured, how many laptops were manufactured, so on and so forth yeah. from that particular invasion, you know. Hey, hey the Lord set up different nations. Hey, man, he's <laughs> on man. It, it kind of like when you when you understand and, and how and the things that he's done, it makes you mad, man. Because the Lord set up different nations. This world was made for, for the Israelites first, but also for the other nations too. Everybody deserved their own land. The Lord created them. They, they deserve their own land that's divided to them in their portion and to live their life. You know? And Esau, instead of, uh, he's not a righteous man, he's a wicked. Instead of trading with those people exactly. and the it's bargaining a system, yeah. working that's deals. Right. He go and rob them. But that's his blessing. His blessing uh, uh, was the sword. The only way he can acquire riches, the only way he can acquire... The only, the only way he can acquire riches, the only way he can acquire wealth is by executing the sword. Man. And that's how we know Esau is Cain. Because Cain goes back to the Hebrew Kwayan, which means weapon. You know? That score actually yeah. starts with his tongue. Yeah. Before anything, anything else. else yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's, what, that's, that's, yeah, that's what really cuts you first and foremost. Yeah. Because you believe in the words that's coming out of his mouth. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That they shit is so believable. It's like they touched your heart with his spit. It's like, oh, like really? That, it's that, it's that fourth yeah. tongue. Yeah. Because he's telling yeah. the truth mixed with lies. Yeah. yeah. And you know, and, and how he was able to get Eve, he said, look, um, if you tap into the uh the the, the, the forbidden truth. knowledge, right. the forbidden yeah. truth, the forbidden knowledge, you'll be as gods, knowing both good and evil. Now that was true. Mm. Where he lied was that he was that they wasn't gonna die. Mm. You know, that that's where the serpent lied, which is the spirit of Edom today. Mm. You know? 
that's where the lie was at. So, like like Apostle Cabal always say, in order to tell a lie, you got to know the truth. Yeah. And and, and 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 the serpent knew that. The devil mm -hmm. knew that. Esau knew that. Mm -hmm. Going back then. <laughs> yeah, Esau always he speaks in twos. Like you know, like you said, the fourth tongue. Yeah. The snake's tongue is a split. So it's one going, it's one going yeah. right, one going left. Right. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Somebody always say, hey, like, hey, we're all one people here, man. You know, we all come from Adam. Yeah, right. But then they stop there. But you got to continue. Right, exactly. right. You know, the Lord now has a chosen. That's the second yeah. entrance. Yeah. You know, you want to say you all come from Adam. That's true. Yeah. You know, we even, some of us even all come from, uh, certain nations come from Abraham. Yeah. So-called Arabics, uh, uh, Moabites, J uh, Japanese, you know, uh, Israelites, Edomites. But you got to keep going, man. You don't just stop there. The Lord also has a chosen. Yeah. But they want to stop there to... Uh, to block out and cancel out the Lord's chosen people, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Play the video. Our federal reserve and our digital future. So now we have the Treasury Secretary Chair or Fed Chair Janet Yellen um, that made a comment about Bitcoin last week, and Bitcoin plummeted uh, right at eight or nine thousand dollars. Right. However, earlier this week. She says it makes sense. It makes sense for central banks to be looking into the issue. Too many Americans don't have access to easy payment system, right? And banking accounts. And as she said, that she thinks this is something that the digital dollar and a central bank digital currency can help with. I also know that I told you all a couple of weeks ago that I believe a 40% stock market crash will come around the she says it makes sense it makes sense for central banks to be looking into the issue too many americans don't have access to easy payment system right and banking accounts and as she said that she thinks this is something that the digital dollar and a central bank digital currency can help with right there. i also know and that's the point because you said what is too many americans that don't have access basically to easy payment systems or bank accounts and things like that. So this is something that the digital dollar will help with. Mm. This all goes into being able to track and trace everything. Mm. Mm. Like how we were just talking at camp. If we were working together or something like that, just say for instance, okay, you could be the boss or whatever. You want to pay me, but you're not paying me through check or anything else so they can't trace it. You pay me underneath the table. Mm. They can't track that. So this is what digital currency is going to solve. Mm -hmm. Everything is going to be up on a blockchain. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You can't get around nothing without that. Mm -hmm. This is all of, and every aspect of our lives. We know that Esau is looking after us. Like how Buzz was mentioning with the apps, you got to get permission for this. You got to get permission for, they want access to your photos. Mm -hmm. Every single app asks for all access. Right, yeah. Access to your photos. Yeah. So they got all of your information. Yeah, yeah. They, they, they ask specifically Photos and audio, specifically, yeah. exactly. either both or one or the other. And like location. And location, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Oh, so yeah. You, you track all the way around. But what's the one way that you're not fully tracked is your money, the way that you make your money mm -hmm. on the daily. Yep. Oh, also, too, because uh, I mean, one of y'all brothers said it maybe mm -hmm. a week ago, uh, or maybe I heard it from somewhere, but, um, you know, like, it's obvious, you know, when you use your credit card, that's traceable. Yeah. But if you don't use credit, you can't be traceable. Yeah, exactly. So they want everything to be traceable. Exactly. Hey, real quick, um, just to read this, you know, yeah, yeah, scripture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Revelations 13 yeah, in verse 16. And he calls us all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. And we know that that is the, the, the microchip. Yeah. All right. This is verse 17. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Hey, and, real, and real quick, and, and going into that, because years ago, I always got a reference to a brother's video. I'm not sure the brother's name, forgive me, but the brother from London, a uh, dark skinned brother with the glasses. Um, and he did a lesson years ago with a thorough, thorough, beautiful breakdown going into, you know, the number and the 666 and breaking down the high size stigma and all of that. And it went into so many different details and it was beautiful how he went into it. But also just a side note uh, into, you know, those technical terms and things like that, going into not being able to buy or sell, 
except you have like the, the, the number of his name and all of that. And we all know basically, you know, the market of the RFID chip goes into, you know, barcodes and a, a specific assigned number of things like that. I was mentioning earlier, if you have a digital wallet or upon a blockchain, every transaction has a number, right? So therefore your specific digital wallet that's assigned to you will have a specific code. That's your barcode. And that's the same barcode that will be attached to your chip mm. to know your physical ad address, address, so to speak. And if the camera can, I don't, think, I don't know if you can fully see it, but man, it's not going to be able to see the words. But, uh, okay. Bring it closer, yeah. Oh, it's, hold on. Yeah, right there. Is it the right way? Or I got to turn it another way. So. Either way, they can see it. It's, yeah. it's that line, the numbers right there. Yeah, and you can see what it says because this guy, he was asking, YouTube got a saint in the center. And that's hey, that's the spirit who the saint in the center. <laughs> but it says what? Bring it closer. Let's Bring it a little closer. Yeah. yeah they they can't up. see it. They can't see it. They can see it. Yeah, it's just numbers. It's just numbers. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's just can't. numbers. But they basically, the guy asked. He said yeah. people asked me to share my address for Bitcoin donations. So it just shows the the his uh, uh digital wallet address for Bitcoin. So everybody's going to be specifically assigned that address and that address is going to be linked to you. More importantly, it's going to be tied to your whole body through the biometrics, the Bitcoin, the the, the, the blockchain and your RFID chip. And that, that's perfect because that's exactly what the movie End Time was about with mm -hmm. Justin Timberlake. Yeah. They didn't show you the microchip implanted under the body, under the skin, under the arm, I mean in the arm. They showed you that there was a tattoo of numbers yeah, exactly. that was basically tatted, I think, over the whole wrist or inside the wrist, like yeah. from here to there, yeah. you know, and then they were, do -do 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 mm -hmm. he'd turn his hand and then right. he'd take it back. They used to have even arm wrestling. Yeah, In the movie, yeah. they show arm wrestling, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, where he was taking his money and then he was losing his yeah, money. Yeah, like a game. Yeah, yeah, and, and yeah. whoever ran out of money died. Exactly. You know? Exactly. Exactly. Oh, and then in the movie it showed um, how, you know, Justin Timberlake became um, this billionaire, millionaire, and he went among the elites that had the money, you know, the players that had uh, all this money that they could live forever. The more money you had, the, the, the long life you can have, you know, either, either, be, even though your flesh was 30 years old, or let's say even though your flesh was 60 years old, your flesh wouldn't age, I think, at the age of... 25 they yeah, stopped aging like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah that i mean that was pretty much there's other yeah. points in there but that was pretty much the point of it and i just want to get uh this other article real quick and what other brothers other scripture brothers got this is from uh forbes.com this is on the 23rd of this month it says bitcoin's guardian angel the 50 biggest companies in blockchain i'm just going to mention a, a, a few of them right um and it says the beers D-E and the other word, Beers. The Beers, the, the Diamond Giants new software tracker follows diamonds through the supply chain as they are mined, cut, polished, and sold. Already more than 30 participants, including Signet Jewelers, owners of K, Zales, and Jerry. You always see those in malls. K, Jewelers, Zales have signed on. Tens of thousands of stones are being uh, registered per month. What? All up on the blockchain. Uh, this other company called Foxconn, the iPhone makers trade finance venture chain finance pays more than 20 electronic suppliers using digital coins minted on the Ethereum blockchain. Okay, and it says the result financing costs have plummeted from annual percentage rates as high as 24% to 10%, and the time needed to get funding has been cut from seven days. So one day, so this is making things as we get into way more convenient and way more faster because it was costing them more at 24%, but now since they're using things on the blockchain, it's costing them 10%. So that's a 14% increase in more revenue for them. And the time it takes for them to get the money, if you're doing a wire transfer or different transfers and things, it may take seven days now, so it's only take one day. Right. So it's just showing you the convenience and why these different, all these the beers, and that's a well-known big ass diamond company, billions of dollars and all that. Mm. So where all well, as you said, 
follow the money. All of the big wig companies are jumping on board. Yeah. So it tells you this is the future. This is what you're right. headed to. Which which is going into the fourth industrial revolution. It's not just with the money. The money, it's uh, it's artificial intelligence. It's um, it's uh, 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 uh what do you call it? Uh, gene editing. You know, mm -hmm. genetic. Uh, yeah, g gene editing. Um, it deals with a lot of it. You just got to look up fourth industrial revolution. You know, people being pro uh, uh, planted with microchips. Hey, th that that's that that's that's a a, a problem. Uh, that yeah, let me excuse me. That's a problem, you know, and that's why the Howard Bashmi Al Shah is going to act on you, Edomites, and it sure it proves that this is the end. See, when Esau, when he thought to change the world, when he made gold and gave everybody notes, you know, that was a change in the worlds. When you know people stopped bargaining with gold coins and things, and then he started issuing out notes. And then you took the notes, and then eventually the note became the money. Yeah, you know, he thinks yeah. he could do this again and again and again and again and again. Yeah. But there's an end. All right. Yeah. Now you, you basically went too far. Now you're going against the Heavenly Father in the order of things. You know, he wants to sit in the seat of the Most High. Yeah. So this is how we know that Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. You know? mm -hmm. I appreciate it. This is Psalm chapter 73. Verse 12, it says, Behold, these are the ungodly who prosper in the world. They increase in riches. You know, and um, they, 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 they manufacture and create scenarios to uh, further collapse the dollar, you know, to get richer pretty much in their own benefit. It, it's really not even about being rich. It's mainly control. Power. Power and control. Power and, control. and convenience. Yeah. And convenience. Because here it is, these devils... You know, here it is, they got this whole pandemic, you know, known as C-19, you know, and all that pretty much did was made the rich that much more wealthy, you know, because here it is, when it came down to those, um, uh, what do you call them, respirators, mm -hmm. uh, so to speak, every time a respirator was used in one of these hospitals, the, 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 the elites, that is, uh, got $30,000 for each respirator that was used. Mm -hmm. So you can only imagine the wealth that can come with that. Man. And, and anybody that was on a respirator was going to die. That's right. Exactly. That's why the scriptures say these are the ungodly, you know, in the world. And they increase in riches. That's a miracle to recover from the respirator. Yeah. The respirator was supposed to kill you. Yeah. Well, that was the intent. Yeah. It's, a, it's supposed to revive you. Right. But all the pressure that's being uh, used, yeah. it, it, that's what's taking them out. Mm -hmm. Because here it is that they say everyone who got hooked up. Pretty much everyone who got hooked up to a respirator didn't make it, mm. you know, because they was killing them, man. You hey, know, hey, there's a video that's not on YouTube, and caught in the act, the uh, grandfather. I'm, I'm guessing he was an older man, and he had like a grandson that you know, taking care of his grandfather. They kept telling the grandson that um the grandfather is sick. He's getting worse when he went in there for something else. Mm -hmm. And when the son, I mean, with a grandson, I guess he went and did his searching and, you know, found his grandfather in the hospital, which they kept denying him of his grandfather. His grandfather said, get me the hell up out of here. They trying to kill me. Mm. And so he went, you know, and the doctor came in, the doctor came in, the doctor came in and said, you can't do this. Cause and the grandfather said, I'm fine. I don't want to be on no damn respirator. You trying to kill me? Yeah, and, then, and then and then and then the doctor said, "This is this this can't be." See, he's a patient. Da, 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 da. They yeah. was literally trying to hold him to kill this look dude, that, man. That, that. that was caught on camera, man. That was somewhere in London, you know. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't over here in the states. Okay. Okay. I, out here, real quick, out here, man. You, you had a uh, I'll never forget it, man. It was an uh, elderly Jake woman and her 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 kids. They stormed, they busted open the door. They was like, my mother is not dead. Mm. And they, they came out and told you the dad. She said, my mother is not dead. They busted open the door. And she was in there breathing. And they already had her in the body bag zipped up. Mm. They unzipped the body bag. She was oh, like, uh, uh, mm. uh. So, and Esau tagged it up as uh, uh, she died from the, uh, yeah, the, 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 the sea. The sea, yeah. 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 Even to the fact of, you know, going into war, you know. This documentary, all wars are bankers' wars, you know. <laughs> and when you even go into the research of, you know, how these elites operate, you know, 
here it is, th th there's money making and going to war. Yep. Because you got to think about, uh, you know, guns being manufactured. You know, guns have to be manufactured, bombs have to be manufactured, tanks have to be manufactured, and there's money on the receiving end after all of these things being manufactured. You know, at the price of what? The death of the individuals going to war. Right. You know? The dummies. Yeah, you got and who's getting rich? The elites. Yeah. And you got what's called, uh, of course, spoils of war. Spoils you know, of after war. you win the war, then you get the booty. Yeah, you got the booty. Yeah. 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 You know? Yeah. 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 Hey, like um, Afghanistan, they had all those pop poppy seeds out there, yeah, like all, yeah. all that See? all that opium, opium and all that stuff that you can take, you can take it back yeah. and then put it into the big pharma. Yeah, you know, See? make billions, if not trillions, of dollars off of that. Hmm. Hey, it will close the scripture. What's the scripture? I can't think of it right now. I think it was Isaiah. Um, this war will not um, will not end. Ah, uh, it won't end with the um. Isaiah. Oh, oh, yeah, Isaiah. Um. I know from my brain. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> Isaiah, um... Dang, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Well, uh, yeah, this won't, it won't fight, this won't, this won't be with... fire, though. Yeah, it yeah, won't yeah. be with... Oh, Isaiah 9. Yeah, nine, yeah, 9, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Right I don't know what's wrong with my brain. Yeah, yeah, Isaiah 9 and 5. <laughs> no, 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 no. I was going to say 5 but 9. Yeah, Isaiah chapter 9, verse 5. For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood. That's it. But this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. Yeah, because this war that's coming will be World War. Hey, brother was bringing it out, man. Uh, the transformation of money, you know, is going digital. And this is more uh, 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 information on just knowing, you know, improving the scriptures as the Lord is always right through his word that the mark of the beast is that um, RFID microchip, or you could say chip, brain chip. Any, any chip that goes in the body that transmit information from from one device to another is the mark of the beast. All right, because it's, it's the society is headed in that direction, man. All right, and that's what the future is. This woman brother brought out. She said around the year twenty twenty three. We're in twenty twenty one. You know, which Apostle so hard coined this year the the year of our uh, Lord. I mean, excuse me. Um, Hastening the year of the, the hastening coming of the day of the Lord. It's a lot, y'all. I don't know what's wrong with my brain, man. Yeah, it's all you know? Yeah, you got yeah. one last. One more picture. Um, <laughs> another thing, too, right? We said 2023, you want to bring it out. Mm -hmm. And then in 2024, it says, uh, this guy's a joke, man. SpaceX's first crew Mars mission could launch as early as 2024. Yeah. Elon Musk says. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And he's serious. He's dead serious. <laughs> yeah, he's dead serious, man. Yeah. Uh, Isaiah chapter 9, verse 19. Uh, Through the wrath of the Lord of hosts is the land darkened, and the people shall be as the fuel of the fire. No man shall spare his brother. That's right. So the people is what's going to keep that fire going. <laughs> you know, the people is going to be the charcoal, you know, that's going to keep the flames ablaze, man. You know, for God is all love, right? <laughs> yeah, so, you know, with that, um, uh, you know, we definitely hope this segment was edifying. Once again, you know, the segment um, in which was, the clip in which we was playing is from uh, this chick, this lady, uh, the queen of crypto, uh, you know, just speaking on cryptocurrency, you know, uh, the exchange of everything and the new transformation of the digital dollar, which is ultimately leading towards the market of beast, as we know, and we know that people like her and other people, they're just for the furtherance of the edification that we bring out, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashan Yahweh Shah, you know, to reveal the complete picture of the truth, which is the ultimate and the bigger picture, you know, is that at the end of the day, this world is done. You saw you finished. They're bringing about the mark of the beast, the RFID chip, and us, the men of the Lord, you know, uh, the men at Great Millstone, starting off with the father of the Great Millstone, you know, hey, we are the ambassadors, you know, for your how about you now shot on earth to represent that word, you know. So, um, and we look forward to the second coming of our Lord, Yahweh Shah, very soon, Lord willing, and the rest from all our uh, labor and toil. So, with that, hope the segment was edifying. Let us all praise us, honor and glory. Thank you, Yahweh. Double one is to the apostles and elders, great millstone, and shall one to make up there, those who are the faithful, love and truth, and serving. Shalom. 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 Shalom.
Hey, Shalom, brothers on the comment board. Shalom. Yeah. Shalom.